Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to BNY, another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful golden gap. And so here we have it. And this was not a gap on earnings. There was things gap for lots and lots of reasons. It was a gap on a downgrade, and the interesting thing was it was mentioned on Mad Money as a good long stock, as a good bullish watch, as a good stock to buy last night. So once again, it's very interesting here, two days in a row, I'm looking at short stocks um, that Kramer is looking to buy. It just so happens that people are plopping this information in the room and then I'm reading it. But it's not taking me off of what I'm doing, not a whit. So let's look at it. What do I do? I get up in the morning and I rate the gaps. I was really on top of this thing too. Solid, open, rallied, hit it, it hit it immediately. And, and you could have actually done it here too. And you know what? I almost took more. I almost doubled my size in my trade, which means that I would have risked two risk units. I should have done it. I just knew it. Knew it, knew it, knew it, knew it. Knew it. Anyways, there it is. Boom. And I had a perfect exit on this. I mean, I actually absolutely had a perfect exit on this trade. So after that, after the exit, it rallied like a banshee. And if you didn't get out here, you gave it all back. You actually went through the price, still held. I called a second entry in this. Look what it did after that. I mean, this thing really, it's still going. I, I'm not in this anymore. I mean, I'm not in this at all anymore. And after you have your goal made for the day in the morning, why keep trading? Why? There's no reason to keep trading whatsoever. It's 11.15, and if you did my calls today, you should just go back to bed or go to the pool or go golfing. There's nothing else to do. I mean, this is exactly what people do. They have a fantastic morning. They think, well, I'm up all this, and I'll, and I'll keep trading because I'm, you know, I'm up more than expected. No, if you're up more than expected, you want to keep it. Keep it. Say thank you, market. Thank you, BMY. Thank you for doing everything perfect today and everything right. And thank you for working so quickly, so big, so fabulously. Thank you, BMY. And thank you, market, today. And that's what you say. And that's what we said. And look, this is still lower. Hilarious. So if you did the second trade in this, you're still in it if you didn't take it out here. But again, time of the day for this bounce was 10.45. Target on this today, the next target is 48.30, $48, Uh, Because the market's weak today, I do think this gets down to 48. And if it gets down to 48, there's a chance it could break it down to 47.85-ish. So this is going to try to break a new low right here. Look at this. Here it is. Yeah, there it is. It just did break a new low. Wow, look at that. Ay, 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 ay. Wow. I think this is the target here, though, but <laughs> it could keep going. Nice short. I I really went through, to took my time reading some things today, because I want to make sure I picked the best, best thing. Because there wasn't a million things to look at today, and I was really being a picky-poo about things. And I didn't do the Walmart. I looked at the Walmart, and then I was like, hmm. So I really, after I looked at this, I said, you know what? This is a good gap. This is a good gap, I said. And actually, at the time when I rated it, it, was, it wasn't even here. I think it was all the way up here or something. But I looked at it, I rated it, and I said, this is a good gap. And so we did it. Nice trade in BMY. Again, Kramer called it last night to buy it. It gapped down today. And, and I rated the gap, and it rated for the 26-point rating system. If you want to learn how to trade, I'm teaching people how to do it, and people are joining the room then and taking my calls and making money. So if you're really serious about trading, you'll take the class and you will be in the room and you will take the calls and you will trade. If you are not serious about making money, then you'll just watch my videos like this one and you'll never learn really what to do and waste your time when you could just be trading and making the money. Because you can't make money by watching my videos. You can only make money by getting my calls and learning the system. The system teaches you how to do it, to point you in the direction to know which one is good. And on top of that, you know, I am really, really, really good at actually narrowing down things sometimes when it's neck and neck with two things to watch or three things to watch and to pinpoint the right one to see it because I'm really good at reading weakness. And I'm also good at reading strength. And I'm going to do a video on Cisco here in a minute as well, which was a bullish gap. But the Golden Gap class is this weekend, May 17th and 18th. It's a time to learn it. You still have half the year left to get your trading career underway. Take the class, start to trade, learn the gaps, practice the system, that by the end of the year you can be where you want to be financially with your goals trading. It's a great time of the year to learn. 
It's May 17th and 18th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $24.99. If you're interested in signing up, I still have spaces available. Tomorrow's the last day, though. It's uh, Melissa at thestockswish.com. I always get tons of people last minute. If you really know you want to do it, get me the papers back today or email me today. Melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.